question number 14 an object moves p vertically object p moves vertically with simple harmonic motion see this is moving simple harmonic motion along the vertical y axis like this right like an oscillation of a spring then object q moves in a vertical circle with a uniform speed okay it is moving with a uniform speed in a circle like this p and q have the same period time period t okay when p is at the top of its motion q is at the bottom of its motion when p is here q is at this point which means when q goes upwards okay p comes downwards right now what is the interval between successive times when the acceleration of p is equal and opposite to the acceleration of q now what will happen here when p is at this point and is trying to come downwards this is its acceleration when it comes here a will be zero and when it comes here acceleration will be in the reverse direction when it takes a turn it takes up like this over here now in a similar way here what happens when the particle is moving like this it has an acceleration like this when the particle is at this point the acceleration is like this which acceleration centripetal acceleration right okay centripetal acceleration is like this so therefore now you see it is opposite to each other okay now what is the difference in the time what is the interval between successive times when the acceleration of p is equal equal and opposite to the acceleration of q when this when will this be equal this will be seen when they are differing by half a time period why half a time period because the time taken by this particle to start from here and to go around one full circle is time t in that time period see if you map this one here the particles are exactly the same right it's nothing but a mapping of the circular motion onto a plane so therefore you see when this comes upwards this comes downwards over here right so thus you can see so here the accelerations a is downwards but here the acceleration a would be upwards over here so every time okay so in half in half of the time period this goes here in the same half time period this comes here right and then the next half time period it comes here and this particle goes upwards over here so what is the duration between them the duration between them is equal to t by 2 right so the answer is p let us move on to the next